he, he told you they weren't sexy? He basically gathered anyone with an, a disability, with an ADA accommodation, told them that they were not to wear those shoes anymore. They were not sexy. They look like old ladies. Rebecca Lopez says for two years, between 2019 and 2021, the MGM Grand let her wear flats to work because she has chronic pain in her heel from plantar fasciitis. But then a new boss took over. He told us that we weren't crippled. He laughed at us. And then he, they posted a bulletin saying anyone that doesn't have the heels by this date is going to be terminated. We're still waiting for a response from MGM, but Lopez sent us a May 2022 letter on MGM stationery that says the cocktail server was being terminated for violating departmental appearance standards. You're holding a heavy tray of drinks and you're walking to and from and you're on your feet for seven and a half hours. 40 hours a week, it starts to take a toll on your bone structure. Lopez's petition on change.org says, stop employers from forcing women in the workplace to wear heels causing permanent damage. It has already garnered more than a thousand signatures. Somebody on your petition said, make the men wear heels. What I'm saying is that women's health matters. And this is a women's health issue. A 2016 article in the National Law Journal asks, high heels in the workplace. Can employers still require women to wear them? And says, unless the employer will impose the same requirement on men, then the answer is no. But some lawyers say it can be complicated because employers can require you to wear a uniform. And I was I was a great employee, so I, yes, I was shocked, I was hurt, and I'm still hurt. <laughs> Lopez says she we now has scoliosis or curvature of the spine, and the single to, mom worries how she'll care for her four children and stay in her buoy home. Bruce Lachan, WUSA 9.